Welcome back my dear friends in the new video about exponents. In this video we will talk about negative exponents and how to simplify expressions containing exponents. First of all, what is a negative exponent? Remember in scientific notation, if we have 10 to the power of negative 1, this means it's 1 over 10. And if we have 10 power negative 2, this means it's 1 over 100, that is 1 over 10 power 2. So if you notice here, if we have a negative power 1, it becomes positive power 1, but if we flip the 10 upside down. Also, when the power is negative 2, we flip the 10 and put a positive 2. So the rule says that if we have a power negative m, whatever what the m is, any integer, so this means we will flip the a upside down and we'll put the m as a positive power or exponent. Okay, examples of this, if we have 2 power negative 3, this will become 1 over 2 power 3, that is 1 over 8. And if we have 3 over 4 power negative 2, here you have a fraction, we flip it upside down to become 4 over 3, and we put the positive exponent, then we distribute this exponent on the 4 and on the 3. So 4 power 2 will become 16 and 3 power 2 is 9. Now I want you to be careful that there is a big difference between negative 2 power 3 and 2 power negative 3. What is the difference here? Negative 2 power 3 is negative 2 multiplied by negative 2 multiplied by negative 2 that's equal to negative 8. But 2 power negative 3 is we flip the 2 upside down to become 1 over 2 power positive 3. That's equal to 1 over 8. Now look at the difference between negative 8 and 1 over 8. Of course, they are completely different numbers. So again, there's a difference. If we put the negative on the base or on the exponent, there's a big difference. Now look at these two examples here. We have negative 4 over 12, w power 12 over w power 3. First to simplify this, we need to simplify the fraction first. 4 and 12, we divide both of them by 4 to become negative 1 over 3. Then we have w and we have the same w up and down. So what do we do to the exponents? We subtract the 12 minus 3. So this will be negative 1 over 3, w power 9. Or we can just write it as negative w power 9 over 3. So this is the simplest form of this expression. Another expression, as you see here, q's and r's, and inside a bracket with a power of 5. We know that if we have a power out, outside the bracket, we should distribute it on each and every term inside the bracket. But before we do this, we better simplify what is inside the bracket. So to simplify, we look at the common or the same base. We have the same base in the Q and the same base in R. So this becomes, let me write here the bracket power 5. And inside the bracket, we have a Q power 2 minus 1. Because we have a 2 up and 1 down, so we subtract them. And also R power 3 minus 2. So this is equal to q, 2 minus 1 is 1, and r, 3 minus 2 is also 1. So this means it's q, r, power 5. Now in this step, we can distribute the 5 on both q and r to become q power 5, r power 5. So this is the simplest form of this expression. Another example. You have r power 6 n power negative 7 over r power 4 n squared. First, we can simplify the r's together and the n's together. So, we have r power 6 and r power 4, they are divided each other, so we subtract the exponents. So, it would be r power 6 minus 4 multiplied by n power, again, we will subtract the exponents on the n, negative 7 minus 2. So this would be r power 6 minus 4 is 2 and n minus 7 or negative 7 minus 2 is negative 9. To simplify means we do not want to see any negative exponents. So to change the negative exponent into positive, 
we will flip the n upside down so it will become r squared over n power 9. Next example 2a power 4c cubed over 5b squared d squared all power 2. Okay, here we have a 2 outside the bracket and to distribute it, before we distribute it, we look inside the bracket. Can we simplify any numerators with any denominators before we distribute the 2? We have a and c up here and we have b and d. Also the 2 and 5 are simplified. So we do not simplify more than that or we cannot simplify. So what we do is that we distribute the 2 on each and every term inside the bracket. So 2 power 2, a power 4, power 2 means 4 times 2 because power of power, remember the product of power rules, and c power 3 times 2 over 5 power 2, b power 2 times 2, and d power 2 times 2. Now here 2 power 2 is 4, and 5 power 2 is 25 and let us see here a power 4 times 2 is 8 and c power 3 times 2 is 6 and b power 2 times 2 is 4 and d power 2 times 2 is 4 so this will be the answer look at this example here 16 p power 5 w power 2 over 2 p 3 w power 3 all to the power of 0 we don't have to do anything we just look at the zero power here and we know that any anything power zero equals one and this is the answer so we do not look inside we know we do not simplify we do not do anything we just apply the rule of power zero equals one here we have negative 10 m power negative one y power zero r over negative 14 m power negative seven y power negative three r power negative 4. We have a lot of m's and y's and r's and numbers and exponents. First of all, we will look at the negative 10 and negative 14. Of course, the negative can be cancelled or crossed out with the negative. So it will be 10 over 14. And then 10 over 14 can be simplified by dividing both 10 and 14 by 2 to be 5 over 7. Now then we have m and m we have m in the numerator and m in the denominator with different exponents and this is division so we subtract exponents so this would be m power negative 1 minus negative 7. Let's continue we have also y power 0 here y power 0 we just cross it out to be 1 and we have y power negative 3 down so we'll put it y power negative 3 and then we have r up here we have r power 1 and r power negative 4 this will be r power 1 minus negative 4 now let us settle things down so this will be 5 over 7 m power negative 1 minus negative 7 the minus and negative becomes positive so negative 1 plus 7 equals 6 positive 6 and also the y power negative 3 we we will make or we'll change the exponent into positive by flipping the y upside down. If it is in the denominator, it becomes in the numerator with a positive exponent. Then r power 1 minus negative 4 equals 1 plus 4, that is r power 5. And this is the final answer or the simplest, simplest form of this expression. Now look at this example. We have a lot of variables a, b, c and numbers and it looks like complicated but it's not complicated if you just simplify what is inside the bracket before we distribute the 3 on it. First of all that 24 and 18 can be simplified by dividing both 24 and 18 by the highest common factor is 6 so 24 divided by 6 is 4 and 18 divided by 6 is 3. Now look at the a, we have a up and down, so we write a, and because it's division, we will subtract the exponents, so it will be 11 minus 6 in the power. Then b, we have b power 16 up and b power 6 down, so again we subtract the 16 minus 6, and we have c 
power 6 up and c power 6 down we can just cross them out so this is equal to 1 we don't have to write them and don't forget that all of this is inside the bracket power 3 now let's continue 4 over 3 okay a power 11 minus 6 is 5 and b power 16 minus 6 is 10 all power 3 then you can here in this step you will distribute the power on every and each term inside the bracket so 4 over 3 power 3 this means it's 4 power 3 that is 64 and 3 power 3 is 27 and that's here a power 5 times 3 that's 15 because we multiply powers if we have more than one power on the same base we multiply them and b power 10 times 3 that is 30 and as you see here it became simplest form now i have a couple of real world problem the area of the rectangle in the figure shown is 32 x y cube so it's 32 x y cube find the width of this rectangle as you see from the photo it's the length is 8 x y so we have the length this is the area given and the length is 8xy so how to find the width we know that the area equals length times width so we have the area length and the length so we need to find the width by dividing the area by the length so we're going to divide by so we'll find out the width by dividing 32xy cube over 8xy okay now 32 divided by 8 is 4 and x over x goes together cross together and y cube over y this means it's y power 3 minus 1 because here the power is 1 and this is division so we subtract the exponents so it will be 4y squared and this is the width of this rectangle another example the nucleus of a certain atom is 10 power negative 13 centimeters across. If the nucleus of a different atom is 10 power negative 11 centimeters across, how many times larger is the second nucleus? So when he asks, we have one of the nucleus, nuclei is 10 power negative 13 and the other is 10 power negative 11. So of course, which one is greater, this one or this one? The one with the negative less this is the greater one so 10 power negative 11 is greater than 10 power negative 13 and to find out how many larger is the second nucleus than this than the first one this means we are going to divide 10 power negative 11 over 10 power negative 13 and to divide we will subtract because we have the same base 10 and 10 we will subtract the exponents negative 11 minus negative 13 that's equal to 10 this minus and negative makes plus so 13 minus 11 is 2 so it's 100 times or 10 power 2 times larger than the first one i hope you understand please leave any comment if you have a question and like the video subscribe stay tuned for the next video bye